Okay, we're going to start out making a video about how to use the uh, Crony Beta Master. Uh, what makes this a master is the display unit, instead of being attached to the front of the Crony unit, has this cable, so it's a, kind of like a wired remote. The first thing I want to talk about is things that I've seen on other places online um, about lighting. You can't use fluorescent lights, and I have this one incandescent fixture that one bulb is out, but still that wasn't enough light to use. So I read online where you can get these inexpensive LED kind of flashlights. I got these at Lowe's. I think they're about $4 each. And it has an on button right here. And uh, in this mode, there's a flashlight at the end. That turns off. That turns on this unit. And then um, I put some magnets. I bought some magnets while I was at Lowe's. So that just attaches like that and it pops right down on the crony. Um, there's only four buttons on this crony. And the reason I'm making this video is because this is the instruction manual. And uh, I just don't find it very intuitive or user friendly. I mean, I'm sure if I invented this unit and all this information was in my head and I just had to spit it out on paper, it would make a lot of sense, but this is very hard for me to follow. So I'm trying to learn how to do it, and I'm going to make a video to show you all how to do it, as I understand it. There's just some things that, you know, in marketing and just putting a product together, you just wouldn't do. For instance, th this unit only has four buttons. One that says ST, on, off, forget and F U. So <clears throat> with that, um, I'm going to put the camera in a holder and we're going to shoot a string and wait till you see what we're shooting. Okay, so our projectile today will be a rubber band because my pellet gun is still in a box waiting to get shipped back for being sick. So anyway, we're going to turn the crony on. We're going to pretend it's brand new and you're using it for the first time. Alright, so we're using it for the first time and we're going to shoot um, in this area. Say so you want it 4 to 8 inches above the sensor. There's a sensor here and a sensor here. And uh, when you see the BE, if there's no period in between those, that means you're set up for feet per second. If there was a period in between there, you'd be at meters per second. And uh, the manual tells you how to adjust that. That is fairly clear. But with the two jump ropes going on either side and the BE, that means we're ready to fire. Now, I can't necessarily see this from this position. We're going to get some misfires, some errors. That's okay. Uh, we're going to watch that. So we shoot 10 shot strings. So here's 10 shots. And you'll notice with the rubber band, even if I wrap around the pole, it works. Whoa, that never happened before. Complete misfire. I did all this practicing before I made this video too. Man, but I moved my chair. So, uh, that's my excuse. All right. So you'll see as I'm firing, there's a number there. Then as soon as the rubber band goes over, there's error two. And I move this display, so I move myself out of position. Um, it's going to show us the shot that we've done. Error three. I can see that's nine, ten. So now LN comes up. They say last number, but it really stands for linear mode. See, this manual is just crazy. Anyway, now we can press the FU button, which really means function. Um, string number one. It's the first string we shot. Our low, 
34.19 feet per second. Our high, 62.61 feet per second. Our average, it looks like AU or Auburn University, but it's really average, 45.79 feet per second. E5 is not a pri uh, private in the Army. That's actually ES for extreme spread, which is 28.42 feet per second. SD for standard deviation, 9.43. Uh, RO is how many shots we have taken since we turned the unit on. We've taken 10 shots. Notice none of the errors counted. So when we hit an error, it didn't count, didn't mess up. We don't have to start the string over. That's really cool. It adjusts. Now when we get this figure, that takes us automatically back to shoot another string. You would think, let me show you what happens if I shoot when that number comes on. Or that screen. Notice I get 56.08 SO. That means I just replaced a shot. What I have to do is I have to go to string. There's two. String number two is now ready to go. And now I'm recording the string again. All right. And you can keep going. You can power this off. Bring it back on. String three, string four, string five, string six. String one, it's got ten shots in it. It saves it. String number one, our low, still 34 point. There is a way to delete all of that memory. You hold this. Let me get back here. And this is all the individual shots that we took. Hold it on high. Press once, twice, hold. And I've just cleared the memory. All right? So that's how I'm using it so far. As I understand more, I'll be happy to explain it to you.